Pen. Okay, so here you'll just um, insert it right here in here between the plate and uh, the metal bezel, the metal frame, and you'll just you'll insert the flat tip screwdriver, and then you'll just turn it, and that that should take care of it. That should pop it open, and if it doesn't pop open, just work your way around, doing the same thing. Um, try not to get near the screen area. Um, the middle should be good, and then the bottom should be good. Um, so now you have that. So you know it. What will happen if um, if you're just trying to replace the click wheel or something, and you take it out? I mean, this screen's untouched, right? So um, once you close it, you might find that oh, you know, you have dust under in here, and where the screen, and where you have dust where it's not even supposed to be there. And um, that's never good. Um, okay, so now you can take this apart. Okay, and you can take the the screen, and all you have to do, since you've already disconnected it, is pull it out. See, and there's the screen. Okay, now that you got the screen out, you can flip it over because this thing's got a button, and it's not. It's loose, so you just take it out. And then you have a front face plate by itself. Now all you have is the click wheel, the frame, and the motherboard. There goes the button. Okay, there's a click wheel. It's a ribbon cable, so don't you know? Be careful. Now, what you have to do to get the click wheel out is you can take a screwdriver and try to pry it open but you know do this number here but it's the motherboard so unless you like are comfortable with using a screwdriver all you have to do is push it down just grab it from the sides okay make sure none, nothing like your fingers aren't touching the motherboard so you know you're not holding it back against yourself and you just have to push down and it's usually stuck on with glue or something like that so you pull it down and usually where the click wheel used to be there's a the silver silver like it looks like aluminum or something like that and there's this black thing they'll always be attached like if it's genuine like no one's ever messed with it or anything like that it'll always be attached and it'll look like it's brand new or something like that so what you'll do is if you don't want to mess it up or anything like that I think it's to make ground that's what I think it's for. You'll take the, the blade and then you'll slide it under. And be careful because you might cut it. But if you're, you know, you're slow enough, you can, uh, you can take it off without messing it up. So there, took it off. Alright. So now you can take the rest of the motherboard off. All right, and usually at the top there'll be some glue. See that? It'll usually be like that. Now you just have the frame. Okay. Now all you gotta do the click wheel will usually be stuck on with glue, so you'll either need a screwdriver or a, like a really thin blade. I don't recommend the screwdriver. Just be careful, and you'll have you'll have to work your way through here where it's already detached and then you just unglue it and then you just gotta pull it out it won't usually won't come out that easily usually you have to try a little bit harder but you, you know you just push in and then you're done so there's a click wheel there's your motherboard you can buy one of the, if this is your problem you can buy one of these and just put it all together if this is your problem, buy another one of these and put it all together. Alright. Now, for the back part. This is the back part. To remove the battery, this is the battery. All you have to do is take a flat screwdriver, the same one, and slide it 
in between this small thin ribbon and just slide it in there push it in you can push it in all the way I've already detached it before but this is how you do it slide it in and then you pop up and it'll come out you know it'll just come out just like that you know this battery's dead doesn't work so now what you're left with is the back plate and the headphone jack and the hold button which come in one piece okay so now what you have left after you've taken the battery off is this which is your headphone jack and your hold button um, this goes connected to the motherboard obviously um, what you're going to want to do is take your flat uh, screwdriver and uh, you're going to place it here under the thicker one the thicker ribbon cable